Let's move on to my second trend now. Um, we are talking about the mid-range wide receivers. I think that'll allow people to pay up at running back for this week, which puts Jordan Howard in kind of a precarious spot at 7,200 for this weekend. To me, if he goes overlooked, I think that that, that shouldn't happen uh, because he's facing a Washington rush defense that has just been trash uh, on the road this year. They're not great overall. Uh, they rank 23rd for the year based on number of hours metrics, but if we narrow that down, to just when they've been on the road, things are a lit match short of a dumpster fire. They have faced 154 total carries by running backs on the road this year. They have racked up 15.88 rushing net expected points, which is roughly 0.1 per carry. The league average uh, for high volume backs this year is negative 0.01. So that's a heavy deviation there. And they also have 48.05% success rate. The league average is 40.3% there this year. So... Overall, running backs against them have been, been very good. Now, I know that those are kind of hard to grasp uh, if you're not super familiar with net expected points. So let's give you a comp here. Uh, if we're trying to look at this efficiency, the per carry efficiency, uh, there is a player who has the same per carry efficiency, almost to a T, and a success rate that's just a little bit lower than running backs at home against Washington. The guy who fits that mold is Ezekiel Elliott. So basically what you're getting is you're getting the efficiency of Ezekiel Elliott whenever Washington is on the road and facing a running back. Elliott himself uh, rushed for 97 yards and two tutties on Thanksgiving against Washington. And now we're putting them up against Jordan Howard. He is averaging 19.7 carries and 3.9 targets per game over his past seven. And Brandon, this is something you brought up in our Slack chat this week, is that if we look at uh, Howard's total opportunity market share. It's at 40.13% over the past five weeks. That's the fourth best mark in the league behind Le'Veon Bell, Ezekiel Elliott, and David Johnson. And Jordan Howard's price doesn't reflect that. And obviously this does, he does benefit from Matt Barkley being decent. He's been efficient enough to generate confidence in the offense. Washington, like we said, not very good on the road. I kind of love Jordan Howard for this week. Where are you on him heading into week 16?